Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Prophet Oriel. Um, I wanted to share something with you. Um, my Lord, I had a very disturbing dream. Um, and the Lord basically showed me why. Um, concerning the leaders, um, why your church is not growing. Um, so if you are a apostle, a bishop, a pastor, if you have a congregation, um, this is the reason why your church is not growing <laughs> that I am about to share with you. Um, I'm just not feeling good. Like I woke up just not feeling good, but I have to get this word out. I was going to type it, but it's just too much to type. Amen. And I pray that this word really blesses you. And I really pray that you sincerely take heed to what I'm saying. Amen. Because um, the Lord showed me this in a dream for a reason. Amen. So I'm not going to wait because, you know, I know people are still asleep and just doing all this other stuff. So this is the dream that I had. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like I'm losing my voice. So this is the reason why um, that your church is not growing. The Lord showed me in a dream. Um, he showed me in a dream to where there was a young lady and she was visiting a new church. And while she was visiting a new church, um, the Lord showed me her pain and the pain was she had been hurt and wounded from her previous church. So she was skeptical about any little thing going into a new church. So she went to this church because she was invited to go and just so happened it was doing, I guess, like a pastor's appreciation thing. And so she was there. She was observing. And um, in her heart, the Lord showed me um, that she was going to visit a few times more because, you know, she really liked the church. Amen. So just so happened she was going to the restroom. And in the midst of her going to the restroom, there was like a door um, that was kind of by the restroom. I guess that it was like a cafeteria to where the um, lunch and stuff was being made after service. And just so happened while this young lady was, was going to the restroom, um, she overheard the sheep talking about her because that's just how much that the door and the walls were thin to where she can hear exactly what they were saying. And just so happened, um, she heard the sheep talking about her. Now, mind you that this is her first time ever coming to visit the church. So she doesn't know anybody. And so they, you know, and so she heard them like talking about her. I mean, they were jealous. They were envious of her. Um, you know, some of the sheep had felt threatened by her, um, even though she just came in and she never said a word to anybody. But the sheep, some of the sheep felt threatened by her. And so she heard their motives to where if she was to join, that this is what they would do to her. Amen. To get her to leave. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> and so she went back into the service. And she waited until after the service was over. And just so happened was that, you know, people were, you know, greeting her, you know, welcome, welcome, welcome. And then it was one of the, um, I guess, like the youth pastor had came and had introduced, you know, themselves to her. And um, they were very welcoming. You know, they gave her, you know like a nice, you know, basket and, you know, just like a nice candle, you know, just for, you know, being a new member. But then she ended up telling them exactly what she heard and how she was displeased with it. Amen. And she began to be vulnerable about what she heard. And at this point, remember, I told you at the beginning is that she was already skeptical skeptical because her previous church she was wounded so when she came to visit this new church her her guards were already up so when she told this youth pastor about what she heard 
and how disappointed she was and what would be done about it because she really, you know, liked the service. You know, she liked the pastors and she wanted to visit again. And unfortunately, it was almost like it was just brushed off and just written off and said, okay, well, I'll talk to them about it. So I say that to say, in the dream, she never went back. But the Lord began to show me her heart. It's the reason why she did not go back. Is because number one, she heard what the sheep said because she had already had her guard up because this is what happened to her previously. And number two, the ones that the pastors had put in leadership, they did not handle it well. And so that was someone that could potentially be a member was not a member because of what was handled and what was said and what was done. So I say this to say to you, leaders, if you have a church, apostle, bishop, or pastor, if you have a church and you wonder why your church is not growing, this is the reason why your church is not growing. Your church is not growing because it's some of your sheep that are literally running off the new people because they have issues within their hearts. They have issues within their hearts. They need to be delivered. They need to be corrected. Amen. And if a push comes to shove, hey, they may have to be set down from some things. But it's time for you to clean house. Because you wonder why you have heard God and that you are being obedient to God. And you love the souls and you're very nurturing, caring, you know, love and that you love with correction, but yet your church is still not growing to where it feels like that it is at a standstill. This is the reason why it is at a standstill because some of your sheep are poisonous. Some of your sheep are lethal. Even some of the ones that you put in leadership that you have trusted, they are not doing what they are supposed to do and they are not handling um, the things properly. And so the people are leaving because the ones that you put in leadership, they feel that they're not protected. They feel that they are attacked. Now, it's one thing to be getting attacked by these sheep, but when you get attacked, from people that are placed in leadership to be able to, you know, make sure that everything is okay and to make sure that the burden is not heavy upon the shepherds of the house, then there is a problem. So pastors, leaders, I'm telling you, I'm pleading with you is that you may want to sit down and have a meeting and you may want to, because I know just with a lot of churches is that when is this a new member you know, that they fill out like those new membership cards and then they may visit once or twice, but then you never see them again. Well, it could be is that the reason why they don't come back is because of how your sheep treat them. I'm telling you in the dream, this lady felt so hurt and so wounded again and she did nothing wrong. She just showed up and the, some of the sheep were talking about her. They attacked her. They had attacked her character because they felt that she would be more noticed than them. See now, and this is why we have to stop all this because the sheep had attacked this young woman of God in this dream because they were envious of her and because they had attacked her also by her looks. They had, uh, they had also were, uh, was attacking her because of how she carried herself. They were attacking her because they did not want her to get the recognition to where they did not want to get passed up to where they had the crabs in the bucket mentality. And she overheard them talking about her. About how they were going to attack her. And the lady did nothing wrong. The lady did nothing wrong. The only thing she did was show up. And when she heard that. And then when she went to the youth pastor in the church. Nothing was done about it. And the youth pastor did not even bring it. To the shepherds. Listen. And this is the reason why I'm telling you. 
it's time for you guys to have a meeting with the ones that you put into leadership. And it's time for you to have just an overall meeting. And it's really time for you to go to God to see God. Who is it? Who are the people that are making your church poisonous? It's time to purge. It's time to correct. And it's time to sit down. Because these sheep that you have connected to your ministry, some of them are the ones why your ministry is not growing. They are attack the ones that, that, that come in innocently. She heard the objectives and the motives to what they were going to do to her to make sure that she never comes back. So with leaders, it's not the fact that you have done anything wrong. Now, this is just for some shepherds because some of the shepherds just evil and just demonic and just rebellious. But this is for the ones that have the heart of God. And if your church have been growing, then all of a sudden people start leaving. It's something poisonous in the midst. Amen. Yes, it's the enemy that is attacking, but it's the people <laughs> that the devil is using in your church. I'm telling you. So shepherds, you're going to have to have a meeting with your people that you place in leadership because they are not doing their job properly. They are being mean and just, I mean, they just not following the godly protocol at all. And these are the ones that you put into leadership that you trust. And they are they they are not doing their job properly. You have sheep that is in the midst of it. That are not in leadership. That come and attack the people. Because they feel that they are anointing. That they're gifting will be more important than theirs. So they attack them. They attack their character. They attack their anointing. All of because they feel threatened by them. Leaders, if you do not get a hold of this, shepherds, if you do not get a hold of this, your ministry will fail and it will not grow. And you will continue to have little members, a small congregation, Unless you get your house in order. I pray that this blesses you. Amen. Just share this word. Share this broadcast. I'm about to head over to my ministry page. And I am about to share that. And then I am about to go to my YouTube um, 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 page. And then I'm going to do that. Amen. Because people need to hear this. Because I was so shocked. And... The Lord was like, this is the reason why the shepherds that I have placed in the midst to have a church, that this is the reason why they are not growing. It's because your sheep feel threatened by the new members and the ones that you put in place are not handling it properly. When the sheep come to them, when they are attacked. So everything is brushed under the rug. And nine times out of ten, the shepherds of the house are not even aware of what's going on because they place other people in leadership to be able to uh, be able to to basically just take care of it. But it's not happening. It's time to clean house. It's time to cor correct, reprove, rebuke. I'm telling you that if you call some of those ones that left that were new members, I'm telling you that they will tell you that the reason why they left is because of someone in the church attacked them and nothing was being done about it and you had no knowledge of it at all. 
Amen. So be blessed. Share this video. I love y'all.